In its time, the Dragon Pit was a marvel of the world. Full-grown Targaryen dragons nested beneath its massive dome. And even on the darkest nights, the walls seemed to glow with the fire of the great beasts inside. As had the site's previous occupant, the Sept of Remembrance, when Magor the Cruel blasted it with dragon fire during morning prayers. The screams of the dying men echoed through King's Landing all day, and a pall of ash and smoke hung over the city for a week. But as it dissipated, so too did the rebellion of the Faith Militant. The Sept of Remembrance faded from memory, and Magor decided to replace a monument to the gods with a monument to his family, the Dragon Pit. Labor proved elusive, however, for after the Red Keep was finished, Magor had hosted a three-day feast for all the builders, stonemasons, and carpenters who had worked to build it. At its conclusion, he slaughtered them, so that only he would know the castle's secrets. So many men fled the construction of the Dragon Pit that Magor was forced to employ the prisoners of the city dungeons, supplemented by skilled and ignorant builders from across the narrow sea. For more than a century, the Targaryens housed their dragons in the Dragon Pit. But dragons are not horses to be stabled or hounds to be kenneled. With each generation, the dragons became less, less massive, less swift, less long-lived. And less invulnerable. During the Dance of Dragons, two Targaryen factions killed a handful of their family's dragons while fighting each other. A frenzied mob even broke into the dragon pit and slaughtered the five dragons chained there though the last managed to bring down the roof of the Great Dome on its assailants. The dragons never recovered their former strength or numbers. Perhaps their line had been too broken, or perhaps others intervened to break it further. But the last dragon grew no larger than a cat, and its death earned Aegon, third of his name, the epithet Dragonbane. What is a dragon pit without dragons? The roof remained where it had fallen. The great bronze doors rusted and fell off their hinges. Prostitutes cavorted where fantastic creatures had once fed and slept. Then came Daenerys. Now dragons once again darken the sky, but they will never darken the dragon pit again. Daenerys has learned the folly of chaining her dragons. The Dragon Pit is, and will remain, a ruin of a bygone age, when kings and queens flew high above their countrymen. <laughs>